Ladies, let's talk about training while on your period, the actual bleed. Now, as a male who clearly experiences tons of periods, I feel extremely well-versed on this topic. Just kidding. But I do work with a lot of females and do have a wife who has a regular cycle. So it is something I've helped work a lot of people through. My recommendation is this. It's your body and you know it best. So I do think you should train or not train based on what how you feel. Now, it is unfortunately a period of time every single month that is re, you know kind of recurring that you have to consider taking a little bit of time off or pulling it down if you're someone who experiences heavier flows and heavier cycles, which is kind of maybe something else you could tackle in its own right. But my recommendation is still stands as do what you feel comfortable doing. If at the end of the day, you're just skipping a workout that you know you could have secretly done, that's going to come back and hurt your gains long term. But if you do feel super bloated, the flow is super heavy, you feel really just bad and, and, and or gassy, blow, whatever it may be, I'd recommend you just take that day off or significantly scale it back and don't feel too bad about it. And in terms of should you work around your cycle with your training and ebb and flow volume and intensity and all this, that cycle sinking concept, I, research is still pretty, pretty clear that it's not going to make a massive difference and it's very individual. So if you are someone who experiences a more intense flow, intense cycle, you might be able to skew your training a little bit more on either side of it. But if you're someone who experiences minimal symptoms or has no cycle at all, it won't really impact your gains much. So at the end of the day, it still comes back down to do what feels best for you. It's your body. It's your choice to make. Just get back on it as soon as you can.